just doing the math, I drink about 250 to 300 ounces of water a day. I'm a breastfeeding mom, right? Um, but do you know what's in water? Well, grab your kids, buckle up, because this morning we are checking in with our favorite math and science tutor, Patty Graziano, to learn some fascinating facts about water. Hi everyone, it's Patty, your favorite math and science tutor, and today we are gonna talk about my favorite molecule, water. And you're thinking to yourself, Patty, water's so simple. It's H2O, it's just two hydrogens and an oxygen. But if you think about it, hydrogen, oxygen, both incredibly flammable gases, but put them together and we can use that material to put out fires. So right there, I think it's fascinating. This is a water molecule. It's very simple, but the neat thing about it is that it's polar, meaning the hydrogen's parts are slightly positive and the oxygen part is slightly negative. That means it's very happy to stick towards itself. Opposites attract. Because water sticks to itself, we call that cohesion. That's why water drops have a drop form. That's also why certain animals can walk on water, water bugs and things like that, that surface tension of the water. You can do an experiment at home about water cohesion. All you need is an eyedropper with some water and a coin. So we take a coin and then drops of water, and as we place it on, notice that the water looks like it's almost gonna go over the edge, but it doesn't because of the surface area of the water, the surface tension of the water, and those molecules are holding onto each other so that it doesn't spill over the edge. Another fun thing to do, which we've all done, since water is slightly positive and negative, as long as water has other materials dissolved in it, which your drinking water does, it will conduct electricity. So that means we can have some fun. So if I build up a nice static charge and we take a slow drizzle of water, from a faucet, we can make the water change direction and get attracted towards the balloon. The next thing to know about water is it's also adhesive, meaning it sticks to other things. And I bet you can do this at home if you have a straw. If you take a straw and put it in water, the water inside the straw will be above the water outside the straw. So if we do an example here, and I'm gonna use some colors just to make it a little more obvious. Now I'm using something called a capillary tube, but you can use just a regular straw at home. And if I set that in, look how much higher up the water goes inside the capillary tube than it did the water level outside. Just by touching it just to the bare surface of the water, we get a bunch coming up. And capillary tubes, or what we call capillary action, is actually how water gets from the roots of plants up to the top, even in the biggest of trees. How neat, Patty. Thank you so much. If you have uh, questions for Patty to tackle, reach out to us. You can find us on our website, weareiowa.com.